thank you so much for bringing your bike to use the Wahoo Kicker Trainers here at KBC. This brief video is going to show you how to set your bike on a trainer and how to actually um, use our computer software as well. So before you come or when you get here, you're going to want to make sure that your tire is pumped up to the right You'll want to make sure that your tire is pumped to the correct pressure. If you're riding a road bike like this with the thin tires, your tire pressure should be somewhere between 100 and 110. If you have a hybrid or some other kind of bike or you're just not sure, you find that by looking at the sidewall of your tire and in rubber writing, it will tell you the range for your tire pressure. If your tires are not at the correct pressure, that's okay. You can use this yellow pump, which is very simple and straightforward. It has a gauge on it. Get that set first. After your tire pressure is correct, you're going to want to put the bike onto the trainer. So, what you'll do, you might want to get a close shot of this is this side over here with the lever you want to put in there and then you'll take this blue lever and just push it down and your bike should be nice and stable one of the adjustments you might need to do is here if your bike feels a little wobbly this will tighten or loosen it okay now, this is really important back here, this blue knob. What you're gonna do is spin your bike wheel and twist the knob until your tire stops. Once it stops, this blue knob needs two full rotations. It's not super easy. There's one. There's two. Now, your bike is set up and ready to go. Let me pause it for a second. Okay, so you're gonna to wanna to just wake the laptop up, the computer up, and then over here, this yellow gear that says Earth Video, double click on that, and the software will start to open. You can go ahead and click OK. Okay. Can you stop it for a second? Okay, so you go ahead and you click on this yellow icon for Herb Video. And this is the software you're going to use to do your ride today and choose your route. So we'll let that load. Once you have clicked on the yellow icon and it's done all of its thinking, this is the screen that's going to pop up. So the first thing we want to do here is go to configure riders, bikes, and devices. Click on that. And then you're going to select a rider. If you're close to the wall, you're rider one. And if you are not close to the wall, you're rider two. So today we're gonna be rider one. Yeah, I don't remember what to do next. After you select your rider, so you're rider one, then you're gonna to go to options and settings. And this is where you are going to put in your weight. Right now it says 150, you can change that. You'll have to do it each ride. Bike weight, we have 18. And um, that's a good guess for most road bikes. If you're riding a hybrid, you should go ahead and put in 24. You don't have to do anything with wheel circumference. And watts, if you are brand new to this, I would suggest putting in 120 watts. If you're a fairly proficient rider, I would put in about 150. And if you're a very, very strong rider, I would start between 180 and 200. That can always be changed during the workout. So today we're going to work with 150 pounds 
and 150 watts. Press OK and it is configured. You see here, this is the Wahoo Kicker, that's the name of the trainer. If you have anything on your bike like a speed sensor or a heart rate monitor, that will show up as well. I actually think what you want to do is just click on it to activate it. That turned it from gray to green, which means we're going to use my speed sensor. And then you will go to configure ride. This screen is where you're picking the actual ride that you want to do. Up here, select earned videos from libraries. You'll see all these rides with crazy names. A good one to start with would be, let me pause it. A good first ride to start with is the Lake Placid Try, which is actually the Ironman Lake Placid route. Now don't let that scare you. Click on that. And you'll see it gives you a couple different options. You could ride for two and a half hours <laughs> if you'd like, or this right here is a one hour option. So let's go ahead and go one hour. So we have selected the Lake Placid Triathlon one hour, and you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna click Let's Ride. So I'm on my bike now, and here's what's popped up on my screen. We've got a couple different things. This fancy graph shows you what's going on on your ride, and it also has your start and stop buttons. So go ahead and move that wherever you'd like it. This is going to show you the actual footage of the ride. And over here, that shows some data like um, your power, how fast you're going. So let's go ahead and I'll show you what it looks like. I'm gonna click on the go button. It's doing nothing. So you're gonna press play and then start pedaling. And once you're pedaling, you'll see everything kind of getting started. The number at the top says 150. That's basically the level of difficulty. Under that, 118 is how hard you're working. 150 is kind of your max effort. So right now you're riding 118 out of 150. You can see I'm going 16 miles per hour and I've gone 0.2 miles. What? Next stop. Okay. I'm already working pretty hard. Right now I'm at 143 watts. Now, if this were way too easy for me, what I could do is press this arrow and make it harder. Now, it's a lot harder. If I found that 150 was too hard for me, press the down arrow, And try that. Okay, hold on one second. There's no need to switch your gears when you're on this bike. The, the kicker does everything for you. So right now the machine wants me to ride at 49 watts and it'll make me ride, well, I'm a little over 49, that's pretty low. Hold on, let's let it get to the next part. All right, we're coming up on this big hill. And if you were outside, you would certainly want to change your gears. Doesn't matter, you can't change your gears in here. The trainer is gonna make it harder no matter what you do. If you pedal really fast, it lets off some tension. If you pedal really slow, it makes it pretty tough. Now I think we should show them how to end a workout. Okay, so when you're done, oftentimes you'll pick a ride that's two hours, two and a half hours, but you might just have an hour down here on the kicker. When you're done, go ahead and click on this stop button. Okay, this is a really important part, guys. 
When this screen pops up, snap a picture. You're gonna wanna go home, put this in your training peaks, and other people here at KBC are also gonna ride as rider one and rider two. So take a picture. And then go ahead, minimize every window. And you're done. You just had your first Wahoo kicker ride. Nice job.